My name is Alessandro Bonitoliva and I am the project manager for the Magnet team in Future for Energy. So we are today in the ASG facilities. That is the place where a part of the TF coil will be built. The TF coils are D-shaped gigantic magnets which are responsible for the confinement of the plasma inside the tokamak. The TF coil is composed by seven double pancake modules. They are called double pancake for the way they are stuck to each other. Behind me, you can see the winding tooling. That's where all the operations start. This is the tooling which is responsible to shape the conductor on the right trajectory. You can see the big spool containing 750 meters of conductor. It is assembled on the spooling device, which is essentially responsible for unwinding the conductor. Then we have the straightening unit, which is straightening the conductor, followed by a cleaning station and a sandblasting station, which create the right level of roughness on the surface of the conductor. And finally, you have the most important part of the equipment, which is the bending tooling, which is responsible for bending the conductor on the right trajectory with the required level of precision and accuracy. My name is Jordi Cornellà. I'm a technical officer for the Toledo Field Coils. This machine is the insulation tool. It grabs the electrical insulation around the superconductor. Once we have placed the superconductor inside the radio plate, we need to start wrapping the electrical insulation around it. It consists of several layers of glass capton tape plus the coin detection tape. The machine works with four trolleys that lift the conductor to a certain height. Then there are another four trolleys that grab the electrical insulation around it and then another photolist puts down the conductor inside the grooves of the radio plate. So far we have uh, grabbed 450 meters for the um, double pancake prototype and we expect to grab around 750 meters for each double pancake in the serial production. My name is Mark Cornelis. I'm working at Fusion for Energy as a technical officer in the Magnet Group, more precisely in the TF Coil team. We're standing here in front of the laser weld station where we have a double pancake prototype installed with an insulated conductor and cover plates assembled on top. After the installation of the conductor, cover plates are assembled on top of the conductor and then they need to be laser welded to close the double pancake prototype. For this, we have chosen the laser weld process because it's a low power input welding process which minimizes deformation. This is important because on a big object like the double pancake prototype, we cannot allow a deformation higher than one millimeter, knowing that the object is 13 by nine meters wide. In order to cover the 1.5 kilometers of laser weld we need to do on the double pancake, we have three robots working simultaneously. Each robot has its own welding gun as well as a laser tracker. The laser tracker is needed to determine the width and the position of the gap at each point of the double pancake. The laser welding of the double pancake prototype is almost completed and the results so far are very satisfactory. So far, most of the operation have been successfully carried out. It's been quite difficult, quite complex, but the results obtained so far are really outstanding and we are in a very advanced phase.